We welcome now to Newsmaker, the superintendent of the Lapeer Community Schools, Matt Wandry, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Don. I, I imagine as a superintendent and watching everything that's been unfolding around the country with the school shootings that there is concern in your district. Do you think something like that could happen in your district? Well, you know, it's, uh, it's one of those instances you hope you never have to manage through as, uh, as a district administrator, but certainly we can't, as adults, be naive to the possibility. And so it certainly fortified our efforts to, um, uh, to recommit to examining what our practices and procedures are, to examine if they really are the most appropriate. And I can certainly tell you that I, I probably share this fear with most superintendents that we have uh, many sleepless nights um, in concert with law enforcement officials that are you know, charged with providing security to, to really ask ourselves honestly, have we done all we can? And not only are you a superintendent, but you're a parent as well. So, Parents, you know, you have teens, concerns, yeah. you know, on both yeah, sides. Absolutely. Yeah. And I, I, I say this when we engage our community in these, these conversations that, you know, I come to the job as a, as a dad first. You know, and and the, the, the hat that we wear as, as district administrators or a superintendent or a teacher, um, you know, it's not more important than the emotion that we can empathize with them, how they feel as parents. And a parent's number one concern on a daily basis is that their son or daughter comes home at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And it's unfortunate in our society that where education is almost uh, a luxury right certainly we want a quality education for each of our young people um, but we can't learn if students don't feel safe and secure and staff don't feel safe and secure if they don't feel um, that those charged with their security are doing all they can and they're in an environment where they can learn and work effectively uh, we're not gonna get a whole lot done and uh, in wake of the latest shooting there in Parkland, Florida, what concerns have you heard from uh, your staff and from uh, parents as well? It, this seems to be kind of a watershed moment. You know, uh, students are becoming more in, engaged, looking for change. So. Uh, what have you heard from your parents and staff? You know, it's interesting you ask that question, Don, because I, I would agree. I, I've been a district administrator for a number of years, and I, too, feel that this this particular incident is uh, changing the conversation in our nation, and perhaps we uh, have a greater capacity to hear what some of the solutions are. Uh, I have spoken the last uh, several days with a number of our students very directly um, in the form of school assemblies. So our law enforcement partners, uh, the city of Lapeer Police Department, the county sheriff's department, uh, uh, our local sheriff and police chief have joined me in having a very frank and direct conversations with our students and staff and uh, articulating a couple of different points. Number one, what are we going to do to reevaluate our current safety and security measures? Mm -hmm. What improvements might we consider? Um, but also asking the students very directly, uh, what do you think? You know, what are, what are measures when you walk in the door every day, what are things that happen or the procedures that we have in place that make you feel safe? And likewise, what are things that we can improve upon. And, and also, you know, and just uh, to add to that, having the students um, respect the safety measures that are in place, you know, I, I was a parent of teenagers and, mm -hmm. you know, they want to sneak out and go get fast food, so they go to the right. one door on the side, stick mm -hmm. a rock in it, get in the car and drive, you know. And so Same when you do that, so it's like the, the breach, you know, the breach of, mm -hmm. of security. So once you put those measures in place, they have to be willing to respect those measures as well. Well, a fantastic point, and, and one that we gloss over uh, too easily is that who's going to make a bigger difference in the security of these large buildings? Is it three or four administrators, one school resource officer, a few teachers, or 800 plus students? And so discussing with students, uh, having a greater awareness, understanding that their actions do have consequences. And at 14, 15, 16 years old, uh, we don't often think about long-term consequences. So just being honest with kids about the threat that some of their behaviors may uh, produce is a really important thing. And give, give young people the benefit of the doubt that they once engaged in this conversation can act accordingly. And I can tell you, I've been an educator for 20 years, mm -hmm. and in the two school assemblies we've recently had at our middle school and our junior high school, uh, 700 plus teenagers in a room, and you could hear a pin drop. Our students are absolutely engaged in this issue. They want to know what the adults are going to do, but they also want to have expectations for their own behavior. And they know that some of the things they do are wrong or inappropriate. They just need an avenue of, an, of a different choice, and we have to provide that for them. And so, you know, as you look at uh, reinforcing your security measures, is everything on the table mm -hmm. for your district as well? Would you, would you consider, you know, uh, 
uh, armed security or even mm -hmm. arming teachers or is everything mm -hmm. on the table? You know, I think it really has to be. W one of the things that we've wanted to avoid uh, in this conversation with the community is, is the retreat to the national talking points on this issue. Uh, we have a lot of adults talking over each other, talking at each other, and I'm telling you, it's really getting tiresome. We, we, we have students that desperately, and parents who desperately desire solutions. And so for us to automatically retreat to these talking points in complete disregard for uh, a solution that we might not be comfortable with really does the students a disservice. So not only is every option on the table, but you have to engage the community and the parents uh, in that discussion. And I told the kids this morning, I, I just left uh, Zimmer Middle School, um, if the adults in this nation could have solved this problem, we already would have done it. Mm -hmm. So obviously, the approach we're using isn't as effective as we had hoped, and let's consider all options. I am not a security expert. I'm an educator. Mm -hmm. So I bring in the experts in security and law enforcement that have uh, the, uh, the, the pedigree yeah, and the expertise yeah. to have this conversation, but also to what end will the parents and students um, accept that? That's a different conversation because what makes a school secure doesn't necessarily make it comfortable and safety and security are sometimes the enemy of comfort and we actually had that discussion with kids this morning that we may have to give up some of those creature comforts of coming and going as we please to make the building more secure and I can make the front of the building as secure as possible but I've got 60 plus entrances and exits at my high school so fortifying one entrance and having all kinds of security and locks and adults you know focusing on that one entry is great mm -hmm. but what are the thousand plus students who are responsible for maintaining security in the remainder of the building going to do to contribute to making it a secure facility? That's a big question. And, and it is indeed, um, with no easy answers. That's right. <laughs> with yeah. no easy answers. And um, you talked about engaging uh, parents in the community. Tell us about this forum you have planned for later this month. Well, I, I really appreciate the opportunity to speak about it. One of the things that uh, our communications department in the school district has become a, a bit concerned about is the number of communications going out on social media, uh, a lot of the misinterpretations of what currently exists in terms of safety and security at the district, um, but yet a greater conversation needs to be had about what we can do to improve. Oftentimes, parents will make the assumption that we're not doing enough, mm -hmm. but yet it's just it's just basic ignorance of knowing what we, do, we are doing. So it's an opportunity to educate and inform, um, but also legitimately engage them in some questions that we can apply to solutions. 